Do you want to be an actor or do you want to be famous? Because there's a difference. <laughs> and I had not considered there being a difference. Keep watching to find out why that's so important in today's book. So hi y'all, this is Kyla Denanyo and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. Today we are talking about a heartbreaking but beautiful memoir, which is Finding Me. <laughs> by Viola Davis. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is biography. So this book was absolutely breathtaking and I do not say that in an exaggeration. I, I almost put the book down multiple times because there are so many tales and stories in this book where you just are waiting for this big hurrah moment, the sun to shine and you to be like, yes, and it does not come. And it reminds me of something else she wrote in the book. How did you claw your way out? There is no out. There is just this moment, getting through it, getting to the next moment, right? And Viola Davis says time after time after time, life hits you, life hits you, life hits you. At most you can try to be prepared, but life hits you. And I'm like, one person can't take this much. One person does take this much, right? So uh, absolutely transparent, beautiful story. I did push through, I kept reading it and you get to see the strength of Viola Davis. You get to see the strength of her family, right? So to me, one of the most important quotes of the books was, forgiveness is giving up any hope of a different past. And you get to see forgiveness in a lot of different ways in this book. And that's why the quote is so important to me. Viola Davis eventually forgives her parents. I don't know if she even knew that she needed to forgive her parents, but there's a time when she's performing on stage and her parents come to see her and she's like, oh, here they are. They're wearing these worn clothes and oh my goodness and ah. And then someone's like, you're so lucky your family supports you. She's like, are you kidding me? And the person says, but they're here. They came to support you. They came no matter the distance, they are here to see you. She's like, wow, you know, they are. Um, there's a time when Viola had to forgive her siblings, you know, for traumas that they had and things they dealt with when they were little. There was a time when Viola had to forgive herself because she's not still that eight year old little girl, but also that eight year old girl made it out. Bonus. So it is January, 2022. And I definitely saw the movie, The Woman King. And my husband and I are leaving the theater and I'm like, man, I wonder what Viola Davis's story is, right? So I'm like, let me just look things up. And I was like, no, I have her book. I'll just read her book. I had no idea, no idea that she had won Tony Awards. I know Viola Davis from How to Get Away with Murder. And then I know her from The Suicide Squad. I had no idea she went to Juilliard. I had no idea that she had done Broadway. I had no idea that she was this classically trained actress, but the fact that you have to start somewhere right? You see someone in a show and you're like, oh, okay, they had a line. But you've got to have a line in this show so that someone can pick you up for the next show. When you see that extra, even who gets a zoom in on their face, that can set them up for their next role. She had to get a role in this guy's movie so that the director might remember her for the next movie. And I had never considered that, right? In my mind, I know acting must be hard, but no, it's more than that because she says it. Do you want to be an actor or do you want to be famous? Because there's a difference. <laughs> and I had not considered there being a difference. So this book was a really transparent look at all the struggles. You see me on screen, acting, being wonderful, telling the story. I have a whole life world, things going on behind here, right? So a really good look behind the scenes at what happens to actors. So I definitely appreciated that. So would I reread the book Finding Me? Um, I, yes, I will reread some of the chapters. I cannot reread all of the chapters right the whole point of reading is it brings up stories it makes you think about your life it makes you think about all kinds of things i could not reread the entire thing i was crying too hard i was too drained <laughs> i'll definitely recommend the book but i would not reread the entire tale so thank you for hanging out with me on kyla's reading day today we were talking about the book finding me a memoir by viola davis 
if you have seen Viola Davis in anything, let me know, get in the comments. Let me know if you've read this book, how you felt when you read the book, if you were able to get through the first couple of chapters. I look forward to talking to you in the comments and I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.